Hello, uh, my name is Filip Kruslin and today we will take the coffee together. I'm doing good, I'm very happy in my life to, today and uh, it's been like this for the most of my life. I cannot say uh, that I had uh, a lot of unhappy moments in, in, in my life and in my uh, sport career. I started to play basketball very young. Uh, I was uh, seven years old uh, in my um, elementary school. Uh, this was first grade, uh, first grade elementary school. Uh, in that moment, uh, for a couple of years, two, three years, uh, uh, maybe even more, I practiced uh, two, three sports, not just basketball. Uh, I, I was swimming, I was going to karate, I was playing tennis. So in one moment when the, when the practices start to be every day, uh, my mom told me that I need to decide uh, which sport I, I want to I want to continue working and and for me it was very easy it was basketball and from that moment on I, it was just basketball. I remember that uh, when I was in uh, in junior teams uh, of Cibona Zagreb in that moment Cibona was playing uh, Euroleague almost every year they were playing top 16 of, of Euroleague. It was a little bit different competition than, than now. And every time they have a home game, I was, uh, I wanted to be the guy who sweeps the, the floors when, when somebody uh, falls down. So I was on almost every, uh, every game, uh, every home game of, of Cibona in Euroleague, I was, I was the guy behind the basket hoping that somebody will fall down you know so i can sweep the floor a little bit this is the this is the the first uh, memories that i have about uh, seeing basketball i was maybe then 12 years old 13 something like that uh, by far olympic games when i went on the olympic games with uh, with my national team with croatia 2016 we were playing uh, in rio de janeiro uh, Olympic Games. It was the first time that uh, Olympic Games were played in uh, South uh, South America. So this is uh, this was a very big experience for me and very big honor for me to to represent my uh, my country in the Olympic Games. And this was something that uh, when I started to play basketball, I was uh, hoping that one day this this could happen. And um, and uh, fortunately, I had the opportunity and. And this is by far my my b biggest uh, memory and biggest success in my career. I am Michael Jordan type of guy. I cannot say that I have a lot of idols, um, but uh, Michael Jordan was one of the one of the guys that uh, for sure I grew up on. Yeah, so I remember that. I was very young in that age, maybe seven, eight years old, and I was going to sleep early so I can wake up in the morning, uh, two, three in the morning, to watch the game because the next day was uh, was um, was school, and uh, usually the games were uh, Chicago Bulls because in that moment they were they were the best team, so so they are broadcasting there a lot. So, um, so Michael was uh, Mike was uh, one of the guys uh, that for sure, uh, you know, you want to copy as a kid. I, outside of basketball, I don't have uh, some some idols or something, but I, I always um, I always uh, uh, admired uh, uh, sports person athletes athletes uh, because I think uh, that. Uh, this is the life that I can relate to and uh, and always when somebody is a good professional, good example, uh, successful in, in his uh, in his sport, uh, for me is always uh, you can find some interesting things uh, about people and you can learn a lot of stuff uh, about, about um, other sports and, and how other people approach sports. So um, I can say like a lot of uh, athletes that are successful, I, I look up to. I have other passions. I don't have so much free time because uh, I, I have three kids. So uh, me and my wife are um, uh, very big focus uh, is, is on our family and uh, all the all the free time we, we like to spend with them. 
so I like chess. I like chess since I was uh, since I was uh, young. Um, I like to watch I, uh, a lot of YouTube channels about chess games, stuff like this. Uh, then I like uh, watching basketball. I like watching other sports. Uh, Football is one of them. I'm a big, uh, big fan of Manchester United. Uh, so Manchester United is one of my biggest passion. Uh, and, and that's basically, basically it. On point guard, I would start uh, Magic Johnson. On shooting guard, uh, Michael Jordan. On position three, I would start uh, Kevin Durant. On position four, I would start. Uh, Tim Duncan, and position five, Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal. I didn't put no creations. Maybe Drajan, maybe Tony Kukoc. This is this would be sentimental more. But if I if I will choose the five, in my opinion, the strongest five, it would be this one. My biggest dream. I'm a type of person that don't look so much in the future. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, I always say you, people make plans and then God decides, you know. Uh, you can make plans whatever you want in your life, but you never know what, what, uh, what of these plans can, what can happen tomorrow, you know. So, so to make uh, too much plans too, too far in the future, it's in today's world uh, really hard so i think uh, the goals in your life need to be short term goals that uh, that are, that you can achieve and not put uh, some goals that uh, uh, you know i don't know i want to be a let's say millionaire in 10 years i mean th these kind of goals are first of all very hard to uh, to achieve second of all they are materialistic goals which I don't believe that it's, it's worth to have this kind of goals because in the end money will come or it will not come. I think that uh, the biggest goals for, for all the people and my biggest goal is just to be happy, you know, and to be healthy. This, this is my goal if, if I can say too much in the future. To be happy, that all, that all my family is happy and everybody is healthy, and and, and, and that's it. I think uh, I think that Strasbourg is uh, is a very nice city. Uh, I like it very much. Uh, my family likes it very much. Uh, it's it's not too big. It's not too small. I think it's like a perfect size for for um, for for living. Uh, okay, sometimes traffic is is a little bit. Uh, uh, messy, but it's not too much for, for a big city. It's normal. Uh, the architecture is very, very nice. Uh, the, the food is very good. Uh, the people are friendly. Um, every uh, every people that I met uh, was very friendly. I since before that I came here. Um, everybody told me the people that, that knew the city told me, "Hey, get uh, get used to it." Not, not a lot of people are speaking English, but in my uh, in my experience, I don't know if the time changed or no, because this was these are the people who who maybe was here a couple of years ago. Uh, I think that uh, that I didn't have no problems uh, with with this since I don't speak uh, French. I understand something, but I don't speak uh, with English. was uh, was very uh, was very okay. Um, the schools for for the kids are are very good. So all the I cannot say n no negative things. You know, uh, a really really positive uh, positive uh, feeling for me and for my family here. About uh, Six Strasbourg, uh, I think that uh, the organization is uh, first of all very good. I think that um, uh, overall the organization is good. The the, the the club is very 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 good organized. Uh, uh, I like um, I like the gym. I like the. Uh, the locker rooms, everything, all the, all the vibe are around the club. I think the the people who are working in the club uh, breed passion for for the club, and this is something that that you feel when you, when you are uh, when you are inside. Uh, and the people uh, who fans who come to the game and and all the vibe in in the city about about the club, I think is is uh, is very nice. Uh, and 
again, like like for the city, uh, everything positive. I think the the rule, uh, the ro role of um, a captain in the team is is various. Um, uh, you can point uh, a lot of stuff that that uh, ca captain's role in, in the team is, but in my opinion, that the, the most uh, the most important thing is to be an uh, example uh, on the court. Uh, and off the court, because I think that the stuff of the court is uh, is um, important, like the stuff on the court. And so, so just to be example every day uh, on the practice, of the practice, how you approach people, how you talk to other people, you know, like s stuff like this. So, so the other players, especially the young players, see uh, in which kind of way uh, you need to uh, conduct yourself uh, uh, in the team. Uh, and to help the, the the players and the team in in the coaching staff in in every to be this bond between players and the coaching staff for any kind of uh, things that uh, anybody needs or to translate the message to to the players or to to the coaching team i think th this is this is something that is that is important in the team uh, i don't think that the, the captain is above other players we are all the same we are players for for a club but just these small details uh, are something that uh, and experience that I have in my career that I can bring to the other players is, I think, uh, important and, and this is may, may in some ways the role of the captain. It's hard to say, um, to say one person, you know, I had a, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of teammates that and a lot of friends uh, in, in, inside of basketball because basketball is, is basically my whole life uh, um, growing up uh, so to point one it, it, it would be hard but I can say one of my for sure favorite teammates is uh, Emantas Benjus, uh, a Lithuanian guy that I uh, played four years in, in Sassari. We were roommates, uh, we were really close friends living in the same building, uh, apartments close to each other. The, the, his, uh, his daughter was going to the school uh, together with my kids, so uh, we are um, friends beyond basketball. Uh, we met on the basketball court, but we, we are friends and now we are very close friends and, uh, and he is for sure one of my, one of my be best teammates uh, that, uh, that I ever had. I can name uh, a lot of others, but I, I name him. I, now when I am uh, 35 years old, uh, uh, I can say the career is went so fast, you know. Uh, I can remember when I was 18, you know, and that, that this was 17 years ago. So I said every time I say to to young players, you know, like trust me, the career will go like this so fast. You will make one turn, you will you will be 35 years old. So try to enjoy every moment. Try to um, try to give everything in every moment. It's hard when you have 20 years old. When you are 20 years old and you are thinking, uh, I have all my career in front of me. But uh, this moment will come so fast. Uh, this and uh, the time to say goodbye from uh, from from the sports and from everything. It's going to be. It's hard for everybody. It's going to be hard for everybody. Uh, it doesn't matter what you're going to do in uh, in after your career. For sure, I had a lot of uh, setbacks in my career, a lot of down moments in my career, especially with the injuries when when I was very young. And I think that this uh, stopped me. Um, to uh, achieving uh, and uh, getting to to my level or of basketball that I thought that I can I can go uh, even before. So I started my let's say uh, higher level journey uh, when I was uh, 26, maybe 25, 26. So it was uh, till till 20, 22 years old. I, I had a lot of setbacks. Uh, and I can I can say that uh, I had doubts in my mind, you know, to continue, not continue, because it was so frustrating uh, to to continue. And you know, you are you you are working hard, you are uh, trying, and then you got you pick some injury, you go back. It's, it's every time setbacks and setbacks. But I think uh, just to be persistent. I I was very persistent in in, and I'm very stubborn as a person. 
I always think that I can do something, maybe even if I cannot do it. But I'm this type of person, you know, I will try everything to do it. And if I will not succeed, I will say, okay, next time I will for sure do it. And it's clear that I cannot do it. But I'm, I have just this kind of mindset. And I think that this kind of mindset helped me in my life, in my career. And uh, it's important to have it like this. Because if you don't have it like this, it's very hard to succeed in, in, in basketball and in life. I think this, these are the qualities that, that you need to have even in life. To be consistent and to be, you know, like focused uh, on, 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 on what you want to do in, in your life and to be determining in, in this. So this is the stuff that helped me and, uh, and today I can say I'm very proud that, uh, that I overcome these obstacles in my life and, uh, and I should try to... Uh, try to translate this to, to, to my kids uh, one day and I hopefully I, they, will, they will understand uh, through, through my experience. I, I would like to say to Sikh Army, the, thank you for, for all your support. Uh, the season is going to be long. Uh, uh, we will need you on, on, on every uh, game that, that you can come, uh, that you can support us. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a really big pleasure to play I in front of you guys. Uh, and you are giving us this extra energy that is very important for, for every game. Uh, and thank you for, for your support and uh, see, you, see you on the next game. It was a very nice moment and a very big pleasure for me to take a coffee with you uh, and bonjour.